Hey guys, um, I think I'm going to need to find a different way to start these videos because hey guys on every single video may be a little bit redundant so I have to come up with um, a different way. So um, uh, today is a very special day, uh, June the 13th, um, if you have been following some of the videos, especially the one about landlord interaction. Um, our building, the building where the restaurant uh, was, has been bought by this pretty big group from what I understand about a year and a half ago and for the last year and a half they haven't given us anything in writing nothing concrete very nice people I love them we welcome the project it's gonna be 140 million plus projects from what I understand uh, never were given a business card from the representative we sit down and he's telling us about all these things I mean my list is solid for another 12 years and no was able to negotiate a pretty good rate on it uh, thanks to uh, the experience uh, in the real estate business, but also having some pretty good van mentors and people of the of the city, and we just bought it at the right time. We just went into the restaurants at the right time, which is a reason that explains the success of some restaurants, which is lease negotiation, a video that we're going to be talking about hopefully in the very near future. Um, so after one year and a half of uh, going back and forth, having teas and coffees with the landlord, and no visibility, guess what? Tomorrow, June the 14th, the last line is going to be drawn from the city council. The city council is going to either approve the project or make it conditional, open, whatever. So we're the small little business owner. Um, I really don't like to deal with lawyers and doctors. They are necessary evil. We need them. Thank God for lawyers and doctors. But guess what? Lawyers are people that you deal with when you have a problem with another person. Doctors, I like to say, are people you deal with when your buddy is pissed at you. So I really don't like to deal with them. But um, And the name of this video is going to be pretty much um, beauty versus dignity. So when is a good time to become a little bit more aggressive? To say, you know what, I've been very nice. I really try to do my due diligence. I've been listening. We had cheese and coffees. And my message for the last year and a half was like, please give us some visibility, give us some visibility. And when your landlord comes with words such as, um, oh, we're going to start you with the market rate less than market and rate, rent is going to be less than market. And then we're going to we're gonna give you some time to get into your feet. When they tell you sentences such as you're either with us or against us, uh, when they tell us things such as, um, we can bring some investors that's going to help you with your operation. I don't need help with my operation. I've been doing this for nine years. This is the reason I decided to go for this business so that I don't have nobody inside my operation to tell me how I should do my work. That's the beauty of being an entrepreneur. So for a year and a half, we really tried to... We were, I was really hoping, still today, I still have hope that maybe they may come through and say, you know what, this is the agreement we came up with. And I think they're reasonable people. But... Um, at noon today, um, if I do not get uh, something in writing from them, uh, we're going to go to the next step, which is a step of dignity. Uh, guys, there is a time when you need to be able and you have to step up for your rights. Uh, being nice is good. Uh, the hospitality industry trains us to be as nice with uh, things such as the client is always right or the guest is always right, which I don't agree with. Uh, but... Uh, when it's come down to business, it's your family. You've been working hard at it. Sometimes it's time to step it up. How to do it, when to do it. Uh, this is going to be a pure live case analysis of how we're dealing with this. Uh, we've been able to develop a pretty strong community by doing a lot of uh, fundraisers. And seriously, I swear on what is most important to me, those uh, fundraisers help with really coming from a very good position and that's the secret of it. You cannot fake being good. You cannot fake wanting to do good. So guys, if you look at this video and uh, it's not the 14th of June, wish me good luck. Uh, if it's past that, I hope that this experience is going to help you learn how to deal with your landlord. The main keyword is respect. Uh, always try the way of beauty in everything you do uh, before you take it to the dignity because dignity, man, is gonna probably going to involve some lawyers and lots of writings and all. So whenever you have a chance to go the route of beauty, be beautiful. Until the next video, um, 4.48, we're doing good on time. Remember, the secret ingredient is love. Yes, you can own and run a successful first restaurant. See you soon.